So next stop, Cartmel then for the Cartmel Cup. And this is a two mile handicap, only a 0 to 110. And it's a hurdle. The top one is strictly David Robertson. Easy way out, Marty Leader, Maggie Mini, Carla Agante, Faro of Nepal, Molly Etzer for Rio Bueno, Darren Thompson, Nightjar, Graham Clutterbuck, Shine Magical, Derek Hinton, Arctic Burning, Doug Warren, Arnu, James Follis, King Mutanaka, Darren Howes, Mr. Snowman, Kevin Meenahan, Rookie Jamie Hopkins, River State, Obi Wan, and Twix, Alex Cherry. So 14 then. All quietly assembled at the start, and away they go with Arctic Burning. Just the first to show where two race guys gone down to have a look at the start. And Arctic Burning in the Cerise on the outside is going to take it up, pulling for its head in second. His rookie and Twix is also pretty near the front at this stage as well. So, making their way towards the first of seven flights of hurdles, and they're already going up this little part of the track where they bypass the straight, the strange track cart mill. They only go up the straight at the end and the rest of it is like running around a teapot or something because it's a very tight track and over that one they go. That was the first of seven flights of hurdles and Arctic Burning leads by a good three lengths or so and that's quickly over the second and he's in the lead and happy in front from Twix in second, Strictly in third, then Shine Magical and Maggie Mini and comes King Mutanaka with a rookie on the rail Night Jar and Rio Bueno. The grey is easy way out. The one that's really struggling out the back is Arnu. I don't know what's happening with that one. It's uh, quite a way detached at this stage. Maybe it's got a bit of indigestion. It's taken a couple of rennies as they take the third. And Arctic Burning's the leader from Twix and Strict Lily. And Maggie Millie and Shine Magical with Rookie and Night Jar next. And then Fair of Nepal and King Mutanaka, and that's the other end of the straight. And you can see how uh, strange this track is. And Arctic Burning is the leader from Strictly in second. They're going at a pretty good pace. Could explain why Arnu is struggling so much out the back. I'm sure if there was anything wrong with it, it would have been pulled up by now. But they're taking the fourth, and Arctic Burning is the leader. And Twix in second. Shine Magicals on the outside between the two. Strict Lily. And just tucked in behind Maggie Mini. Easy way out is next. And King Mutanaka wide on the track. Oh, he's getting further behind. So maybe there is something wrong with that one. And Arctic Burning. Doug Warren in the lead. Doug Warren's had his best ever season on the jumps. I don't think he'd ever had a winner before this season. He's had quite a few now. And uh, they come past the straight again. Hopefully that will encourage him to continue with his jumping stable. So Arctic Burning leads in Twix is second as they take the fifth. That's the third from home. Uh, Arctic Burning leads Twix is second. Strictly is third. Then comes um, Shine Magical River State is making some good ground on the outside as they take the third from home. And Arctic Burning is the leader. Also coming out of the pack now, Night Jar. So it's Arctic Burning, Night Jar, then Twix, Shine Magical, River State, then Strictly the Easy Way Out trying to come around the outside. Maggie Minnie's losing his place a little bit. Then comes Rookie Mr. Snowman's never really got into it. Neither's Rio Bueno or Fair of Nepal. King Mutanaka is last. Arnu has finally been pulled up and Shine Magical's taking the lead. So Shine Magical's in front then from Easy Way Out, who's now gone into second. This is the final flight. Over that one they go and Easy Way Out takes it up and goes for home. Easy Way Out and it's a long run in here over a furlong. And Easy Way Out being chased by Twix and shine magical twix on the outside of easy way out twix throws down a big challenge easy way out looks to be going one pace and it's twix who's in the lead in the final half furlong twix looks the stronger easy way out trying to fight back well this is going to be a win for twix and uh, twix takes it on the outside from easy way out second child magical third night jar four strictly he was five and king Mutanaka was the last one to finish and that is a win for twix on the outside that big long running Played to the strengths of that one, it would seem. As Twi as easy way out came to win the race over the final flight, but couldn't keep going on the long running. And I think that might be Alex Cherry. I think we'll wait and see for the card. It is indeed. So well done. Alex Cherry gets a win with Twix. Second was Easy Way Out for Martin Leadham. Shine Magical for Derek Hinton was third. Nightjar for Graham Clutterbuck fourth. And Strict Lily for David Robertson was fifth.